Hey, welcome to this week's video mail. The Cougar train's rolling full steam ahead now. Workington was up this week. Came down to Cougar Park, it was always going to be a tough fixture for us. They also had an excellent defensive record in the league. Although they hadn't come up against an attack quite as potent as ours. The first half we controlled the ball beautifully, completing at 82%, which means we only made two or three errors in the whole 40 minutes. At half time we knew that was going to take its toll in the second half. In the second half we blew them away, running out 38 18 winners and scoring some scintillating tries. We had a crowd just short of a thousand people, not far off the thousand mark, so Cougar fans keep getting down here and we'll break that thousand mark very soon and have it as a regular feature at the game. Unfortunately, this week on the injury news, Craig Muss had a nasty injury where he collided with the goalpost and scoring a try. showed great commitment to the cause by putting his body on the line and hit the goalpost at full pace. Fortunately, he was able to get up and hobble off the field and he's quite badly bruised at the moment, but unfortunately for us, he hasn't broken anything, so he shouldn't be too far away. And good news on the injury front is James Haythorway, who didn't make the game on the weekend, should be back for next weekend's fixture against South Wales. So things are looking good. On a more positive note as well, I'll make a special mention to players like Ben Sagar, who's played in several positions this year. He's moved from right and left centre. He's played in the back row. He's filled in on the wing at times due to with our injuries. He's been an outstanding and consistent performer for the Cougars. And every week he's getting better and better and is a pleasure to coach. And Richard Jones, who's moved from the front row to the second row, has been a revelation in the back row. Big, powerful, strong running back rower who's making life hard for any team we play against. The important thing this week was that we picked up the three points and we gave Workington no bonus points, so mission accomplished there. And to keep putting pressure on the Swinton Lions, who are at the top of the table without having lost a game. We've only dropped one game, we have to keep that statistic up so that when we meet them in about eight weeks' time, we're right up there with them and putting pressure on them at all times. Also this week we rotated the squad a little bit. Chris Baines had a rest, Greg Nicholson came back in for his first appearance of the season in the championship, had a great performance and showed that he's a quality player and the strength and depth in our squad is very good. We still have players like James, Jamie Shepard as well who uh, is due for a game anytime soon, who also can step back in and Killer who also, James, Jermaine Ray who didn't have a game, hasn't played the last two weeks, he's itching to get back on the field so the squad is looking really good in terms of depth, we just need to get players out there and into first team action. The squad builder response this week was excellent. We handed out a lot of flyers and a lot of people took note and took some forms away. So if you can get them in this week and sign up, that's all going to go to a good cause and make sure that the Cougar train keeps rolling. So for this week, it's bye. But hopefully down at South Wales this week, we'll see you all down here and we will crack the thousand mark. Onwards and upwards. See you then.